What's going on, YouTube? SciGuy29 coming at you here. And tonight, um, I want to share my ballot for the YouTube Sports Hall of Fame this year. Um, really contemplated whether to do this or not and decided uh, I'm going to uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, first and foremost, um, I wanted to be a part of this community for a while. Uh, last March I took the leap and started making some videos and in that time have had the opportunity to interact with a lot of great people and learn a lot more than I thought I would to be honest with you. I uh, didn't know what to expect uh, but have been uh, very welcomed in by a lot of different people. Some that are going to be on my ballot, some that aren't. Uh, and the second reason I decided to is I, I feel like I am a part of the community. I'm not a huge part. I don't have a ton of subs, which what does that mean? You know, I, I kind of looked at it as, uh, you know, does the does the billionaire have any more right to vote or need to vote uh, in a general election than uh, the 21 year old starting out living in his parents basement? No, he doesn't. So um, I guess I'm kind of that 21 year old living in his parents' basement. I'm not, this is my basement, but uh, I think you get the point. Uh, you know, and, and I'm out, I try to, try to be a part of the community as best I can when time allows. And uh, I thought, what the heck, I'm gonna go for it. A uh, great way to meet people. And you know, I love this process because uh, it shows the great diversity and incredible number of channels that are on on YouTube and you can't write not right or wrong um, you know I keep trying to talk to my students in school you know life isn't always what you want it to be but it can be what you make of it so uh, I'm gonna make best use of my time and I feel like I've got a pretty good list so uh, I'm gonna share it I do not have ten uh, I've got eight or nine here that I'm gonna go with and just couldn't narrow down that that last spot or two so I just kind of cut it off. Uh, some of these are well-established channels, uh, you know, with over a thousand subs. Some are uh, in the three and four hundreds. Uh, doesn't mean they deserve any less. Uh, in my book, uh, you know, I've, I've watched a couple videos that, you know, they had this great criteria lined up and and set out. That's great. That's their choice. You know, that's free society. Here we go. Um, so I want to start off with uh, my first nomination being. Uh, Hot Corner Collection, and that's Ryan. Uh, have had a subscription to his channel, uh, off and on. Have not uh, commented a lot with his, but just admire uh, what he shares, what he brings. Uh, one of the few channels that has a ton of new stuff uh, on their channel. Uh, he does a lot of breaks of different products. Uh, not huge amounts, but does show what he does break, and I kind of appreciate that. Uh, has a great setup, great shots of his room. Uh, and shares his knowledge, um, you know, a lot of autographs, a lot of game used uh, cards, which which I love. Uh, so that's kind of one of the reasons I gravita gravitated, if I can talk toward him. Uh, next up, I have Bowman fifty three, and that's Alex. Um, always enjoy watching his stuff because I'm going to learn something new each and every time. Uh, another teacher kind of puts it in another uh, frame of. Uh, what I'm used to, so to speak. Uh, not really a lecture, but not a talking to. Uh, just a good time to sit and listen and learn, uh, which is what I think all good teachers have the ability to do. Uh, so Bowman53 and Alex, you've got my vote. Uh, number three is Scott and Reindeer Studio. Uh, Scott's one of those guys that I love to watch after I've had a long day, stressful day, if something hasn't gone right because there's just something about his presentation that makes you feel better. And I love that. Uh, not only that, but uh, just a lot of fun. I'm a guy that would love to be able to draw and do things like that. I have no ability. I actually had an art teacher one time uh, as an eighth grader ask me not to take any more art classes because they were also the high school art teacher. So we worked out a little deal. Another story for another day. But uh, So I really appreciate Scott's ability to bring those things to life and uh, share his stories. 
Uh, one of the things, uh, the, he ran a contest, I don't know if it was last spring or last summer. Um, you know, and anybody that in, in, includes bubble gum in their contest winnings, you got to love that. So uh, Scott and Reindeer Studio is my third vote. Uh, next is uh, a channel that I've come to try not to miss any of his videos because um, this guy kind of has that collection that I think a lot of people would love to have and haven't gone out and gotten or had at one time and pieced out. Um, he just has an incredible array of cards and uh, knowledge that I love to get to be a part of. And that is Rick Vintage Oddball Cards. Uh, he's always showing stuff I've never seen. Uh, so, you know, it's that, that intrigue. He's also big into sharing the history of things, um, which with a history minor, kind of right up my alley. So something I really appreciate and always look forward to. I, you know, every time I check out that channel, there's something new that I'm learning. Um, next is uh, somebody that I've really connected with and, and have had some fun interacting with, and that is Jake the Ticket Leprechaun. Um, just a very easygoing, uh, someone that you'd love to hang out with. Uh, you know, it's like you're right there in his card room with the beast and everything, or, you know, behemoth or whatever the hell he calls that thing behind him. Um, you know, just a great branch out collection with his his uh, Sandlot uh, stuff. Um, just as somebody that I would like to hang out with. Uh, another one of those guys that when I'm maybe not having the best day or things haven't gone my way, um, I need to get my head out of my butt maybe. Uh, it's always good to go and listen to Jake, uh, and he helps set me straight. And I think that's something needed in this, not just this community, but in, in, in our world today. So uh, thank you, Jake, and, and he's got my nomination as well. Um, kind of along those lines is uh, my next nominee, and that's Mr. Fisherbike and Jason. I uh, have not had a lot of interaction with him, uh, but I try to catch as many videos as I can, comment when possible. Um, him being a Nomar guy, I'm that, that's not my thing. Uh, but I, there's just something, he's always making me think, giving me stuff to ponder, and uh, I think that's a valuable part of what this community needs to do as well, uh, which is, is always nice. Uh, you know, I love the fact that it's it's not, cookie cutter with him uh, and a lot of these guys it's not cookie cutter it's it's it, it changes you know video to video and I, I appreciate that uh, I know a lot of it's his personal life and and what he does for a living and things like that but I it's even better he's still taking the time to do it and do it well so to, to me that's that's worth a vote uh, next I'm going with Diamond Yard Sports Cards uh, and George um, love his vintage um, had a few interactions with him. Uh, would love to meet as many of these guys as I could, obviously. Uh, if the Nationals held uh, this coming summer in Chicago, I'd hopefully get the chance to meet a lot of them. Um, but Don George it just has this great vintage uh, collection that he shares. Uh, just love the stuff that he, he pulls out. The knowledge, again, is a huge part for me. Uh, had a little beer talk with one. He had had some beer sitting in one of his videos in a, in a container, so I made comment on that, and we talked back a little forth about that, which was fun, one of those other side hobbies of mine. Um, so Diamond Yard Sports Cards and George. Uh, last, and sure as hell not least, is G's Mikey. Uh, this guy uh, was the first person to ever really kind of carry on a conversation with me uh, on one of my videos. Uh He's also someone that uh, flat out kind of called me out on, not really called me out, but uh, made a point to point something out to me that I'd kind of missed, uh, but did it in a great way. And I appreciate that. Uh, that means he's invested in the community. Uh, love his vintage collection. Uh, you know, the guy's got a 52 set and runs it all the way through. Uh, the only downside with Mikey is he's a Dodgers fan. Just kidding, Mikey. Um, but uh, loves to interact, has interacted several times uh, with me on my videos, uh, gave me a shout out with one of his contests, uh, which I appreciate, and just uh, just seems like an all-around great dude, just knowing the interaction he has with a lot of other people in the hobby, in the hobby family that I 
I kind of come to trust and respect, uh, I put him in that same category. And definitely one of those guys someday I want to have a beer with. He even invited me out to Cali. Uh, not going to go anytime soon. Can't go anywhere when we get there anyway right now. So that'll have to wait. But uh, just wanted to share that. Uh, like I said before, agree, disagree. It's your right. It's a free country. Uh, let me know what you think. Don't think. Uh, ignore me, you, you know, whatever works for you, whatever makes you feel good about it. Uh, I wanted to participate and so I did, uh, appreciate you stopping by. Best of luck to all. Uh, look, trust me, this isn't the only list. I've seen a lot of ton, tons and tons of videos on this, um, and have found some really great channels, uh, because of it and look forward to, uh, hopefully nominating them and meeting them in the future as well. So Till next time, remember, Sci Guy out, collect what you love, love what you collect.